Everybody, good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here early on this Friday morning. I'm thankful it's Friday. That's the one thing to look forward to in the days ahead because I'm not looking forward to the weather. Uh, of course, we've got the ongoing snow, but of course, the bitterly cold temperatures are going to be uh, taking over the forecast soon. Winter weather advisories remain in place in purple until noon today over central Nebraska and northern Kansas. As for farther to the east, eastern Nebraska, really from Highway 281 eastward, included in a winter storm warning. These counties right here were added to the winter storm warning from Wheeler County to Webster County. Those actually go till noon today. And then this area of counties right here from Nance and Merrick and Polk County southward all the way to Thayer and Knuckles County until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Southeast Nebraska, including Lincoln and Beatrice until 9 o'clock tonight. And then east central and northeast Nebraska, other than Dixon and Dakota County, go until midnight tonight. Blizzard warnings to the north and east of us, where conditions will be even worse. Even after the snow ends tonight, blowing snow will still be a big concern, especially over eastern Nebraska. We're currently under a wind chill advisory until noon today. Wind chill values of 10 to 25 below are pretty common in many of these locations. We even see them out to the west here as well. Although the North Platte and Cheyenne Weather Service have, uh, have not issued out wind chill advisories. Some of these places are actually already in a wind chill warning. For the rest of us, the wind chill warning will go into effect tonight. So, future cast showing the snow, which is mostly over, is along and east of Highway 281 right now, is going to be slowly clearing out from west to east. Sunshine's going to return out west and maybe some sun here in central Nebraska this afternoon. But notice the winds, even after the snow is done. Look how strong these winds are over eastern Nebraska. Now at west, they won't be so bad. But eastern Nebraska, winds of gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour will continue to blow snow around even after the snow ends. So blowing snow in near, ground, near blizzard conditions due to ground blizzards are going to be possible. Even tonight, those conditions are continuing. In fact, the winds are going to strengthen in central Nebraska tonight. We're going to see wind gusts of 35 to 45 miles per hour overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. As you saw, it also another round of some snow could come through tonight mostly focused there's a little bit up north but mostly focused in southern nebraska northern kansas it should be mostly a minor snow and it should wrap up tomorrow morning but the winds will stay strong tomorrow sunshine does return but it will be bitterly cold with dangerously cold wind chills tomorrow and they will get a lot worse tomorrow night dangerously cold wind chills tomorrow night into sunday morning maybe another round of some light snow moves through southwest nebraska early on sunday morning while the amounts or we shouldn't see anything northeast of that the winds will actually be lighter on sunday but the the very cold temperatures are going to continue additional snow today in addition to what we've already seen so as of seven o'clock this is what you could expect to add on to that another inch or two maybe three inches in eastern nebraska omaha area could even see more than that but again most of us to the west won't see much additional snow on top of what we've already seen tri-cities we should see less than an inch of additional snowfall here Highs today, and these are your actual temperatures we're going to show you for highs and lows. Single digits and teens, even some low 20s in the southwest. Lows tonight below zero. Teens below to the north. Near 20 below in northwest Nebraska. These are actual air temperatures. Highs tomorrow for most of us will not even get above zero. Maybe some lower single digits in the south and east. But the rest of us below zero. How about teens below for highs tomorrow? Tomorrow night, this is probably the coldest night for most of us. Actual air temperatures between 10 and 25 below. How about 34 below zero in Shatteron? So bitterly cold air because the winds will be lighter. This is when the uh, coldest air is going to come. Highs on Sunday struggle again. Single digits above and below zero. Coldest in the east. Warmest to the west. Then, of course, we have the wind chills. Wind chill warning will be in place starting tonight at 6 o'clock and continuing until Tuesday morning at noon. Tuesday at noon. Look at these wind chills, especially at night and the next morning. Dangerously cold. There's tomorrow morning, 25 to 45 below, 50 below in Shadron. Sunday night and a Monday, or Saturday night and a Sunday morning, 20 to 40 below again for most of us. Sunday night and a Monday morning. Now out west it may not be so bad, but eastern Nebraska, 20 to 35 below or so, maybe almost 40 below in eastern Nebraska. And then again, Monday night to Tuesday morning, one more night with wind chill values of 25 to 35 below. Very cold air. It does start to improve a little bit by noon on Tuesday. The rest of your forecast, well, yeah, it gets a little bit better next week. A little bit. So we got the snow wrapping up this morning. Another round of very light snow tonight. Another slight chance will come Monday morning. It starts to warm up after Monday. We finally get above zero on Tuesday. And then Wednesday back into the 20s. But another shot of cold air and another chance, a slight chance of some snow comes in Thursday. 
So we're going to be colder for the end of next week, back down into the teens again, and then maybe starting to warm up around next Sunday and beyond as we get back into the 20s there on Sunday of next week here. Uh, hopefully, anyway, we'll see. So it's going to be very cold and temperatures well below uh, below average all through this forecast with the best days next Wednesday and then Tuesday. It does show uh, long-range models are even maybe hinting at it's getting a little bit warmer as we get into next week or the following week after next week. So there you go. That is your forecast for today. I want to thank you all for watching on this Friday morning. Have a good weekend. Stay warm out there. Stay out of this stuff as much as you can. If you do have to be out in it, make sure everything is covered up because it does not take long for hypothermia and frostbite to settle in here. So make sure you are covered up if you're going to be out in this stuff for longer periods of time. All right. Have a good weekend. I will see you all again on Monday morning. Take care and God bless. Bye.